From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. That's good. People need to be entertained. They need the distraction. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's 1-800-5-800-8-66-ANGELA on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Well, um, my problem is, is that I have a booty call, and it's been about four months. And just all of a sudden, like in the past couple weeks, I got feelings for him. And, and I'm trying to just keep it like a, maybe like three different guys that have booty calls with, so it's kind of like messing me up. And I don't know what to do. Well, what you need to do, first of all, do you have a bullpen? Uh-huh. Well, you need to put this one on ice for a while and stick to the bullpen. Okay. So I just don't see him anywhere? Well, I would say uh, rotate him to the uh, back of the shelf for a while. Okay. And b get boned by others. <laughs> All right. I'll try that. And I think it's the most effective. That's how guys do it. Okay. So if you, if you start getting feelings for one, you just stop seeing them. Stop for seeing them for a while. Who knows? Maybe one of the other ones is more interesting. Or maybe uh, you'd be more likely to fall in love with them. Um, okay. So I'll just stop, you know, um, seeing him. Right. Okay. All Thanks. right. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck. Like us 101 at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Let's say hello here to uh, Damon on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Damon. T -t 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 Tom, what's going on, brother? N -n 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 not much. Tom, I, I, I got a situation for you. This is going to be a tough one for you to crack. All right, so I'm I'll bet it's an easy one for me to crack. It's probably tough for you to crack. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm hoping that you can crack it. Um, I'm seeing this one girl. She, nothing serious, you know. We're 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 not an item. We just hook up, but uh, she, and and she buys me a lot of stuff. Like she pampers me. She, anything I want, she she gets. You and must now, be you must be getting the job done in the sack. I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that, I don't know if she's just loaded. I really don't know what the situation is, but I get, I get whatever I want. The thing is, she, she wants to get serious now. She, um, she had the, uh, the, I think the, the define the relationship talk, and she told me that, um, that, uh, it w would be best if we both stopped seeing other people. Well, who is and she to decide what's best for you? I mean, I don't, I mean, I, sh I could see what she's saying. She's getting serious, and, like, I kind of don't want to give up the lifestyle. So then you know? tell her that. But, so you think I should get serious with her? Like, no. Um, tell her you don't want to give up your lifestyle. Tell no, her no, 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 no. I don't want to give up the lifestyle that she's created for me. I mean, I, I want to stay with her because, because I, I like it. I like, I like. Uh, yeah, but like, they, there's nothing for free. You know, I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't mind just just sleeping with her if I. I mean, if I can get. But it's her more out. than that. She wants to get married to you. She wants to have a baby with you. I, it's not. I don't think that's something that I, I would do right now in my life. But did you guess I'm what? Cool. She'll have a baby when she's ready. And I, uh, a dud, she's yeah. young. I mean, I don't know if she's ready. She she goes. She's young, also. I, it doesn't I matter. She's obviously uh, not feeling that she's too young to have a serious relationship. Seri so we, Understand how women think. I mean, when a woman is quote unquote getting serious, getting serious entails for most women getting married and having a baby. Look, this is this is the one thing. This is the one thing that's stopping me from just saying goodbye. Because I mean, I've I've. Oh, Consider eventually, maybe when I'm thirty something, getting married and settle, settling down. But you're not thirty. You're not even thirty, much less thirty something. Yeah, but I, she's the type of person that I I would potentially get married. Great. With. I mean, so make an appointment I, to meet up with her. Uh, you know, in the year twenty fifteen. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it would work out then. <laughs> the point is, do you want to have a baby? 
I'm not now. No, I'm she poor. does. She that... does. How do, how do I know that she does? Because she, she wants doesn't... to get serious. What do you think that means? I mean, she just wants me to stop hooking up with other people. That's not all it means. She wants to get married to you. I don't think that she's ready for that. I mean, let's call I mean, her up right now and find out. Nah, I don't. Why I don't not? Know what are you afraid of? Thing. Come on, we'll call her up, and I I will tell her. You asked me to, to ask this question on her behalf. In 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 see, not seeing other people is her goal to get married, which it is. Well, here's here's my thing um, with with marriage. I, uh, it doesn't I, matter what your thing with marriage is. She wants to get married. No, well, I, I want to get. I just want to tell you my view on it. I just want to tell you. I I, mean, you know, you want to get married at age twenty three. No, she not does. 20. She does. But maybe it. But maybe it. Maybe before thirty, even. Maybe. Maybe it's she's not waiting 20. six years or five years or four years. She may. I mean, no. I don't know that. She well. Why don't you ask her that question? I just don't want to create some sort of mess and then. But I'm know. trying to tell you, with few exceptions, that's how women think. I mean, why can't I? Why can't I? This why day, look? Did you want? Did you call me to argue with me, or did you call for advice? No, no. no well, well, I just want to figure out what the best. I, what the best advice is? The best advice is you need to tone this relationship down or end it. Well, here's here's the thing. Uh, this is uh, it's shady. What kind whatever, of birth but... control do you use? What kind of birth control? The answer, uh, you don't use condoms, do you? No, of course I do. One hundred percent of the time. I one hundred percent of the time. Mm, yeah, once in a while you don't. No, not no. And what well, what not. kind? Let's 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 see if you have the right answer to this one. What kind does she use? <laughs> she uh, she says that it messes with her hormones. There so. we go, son. Do you know why women don't use birth control? Why is that? Because they want to have a baby. No, but she's like this holistic, like... Uh, uh, the, there's, 12, there's, like, there's 12 different kinds of birth control, and they're not all involving chemicals. She is not using any of them. Uh, well, I gotta ask Why you isn't she using a cervical cap? No chemicals involved. Why I've not? Really, I've never really pressed her on it. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I know, I, but I'm saving you the time, sir. I, well, here's another question. You're going to argue with me again? Listen. No, 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 no. You're, no, yeah, no, no. You're, first, we're going to deal with this issue, and then we'll get to your next question. Well, this is kind of linked off of that. We'll get to it after we finish this issue. All right. The reason she is not using any form of birth control has nothing to do with allergies or being holistic. Look, I don't, I don't think that she wants to have a baby right yes. now. She has a full time. She makes a lot. Doesn't of money. She has a matter. Then she can hire a nanny, but she wants to have a baby. You are in denial. I, I don't know if I'm in, in denial. Well, do whatever you want. <laughs> Fine. What are you calling me for? You obviously know everything you need to know. No, I don't. You, you know, you, I'm you telling you she wants to have a goddamn baby. Is there, any, is, there, is there a way I can find out for sure? No, because she's not. if she thinks that you'll object, she won't tell you. Can I lead? Can I lead her on? Is, can I lead her on into thinking that, like, uh, uh, like uh, I don't know that uh, uh, I'm serious with her, and then keep the lifestyle of getting whatever the ha get, what is the I point of that? Yeah, just stop being a loser. You know what? Get a job. I I, can't, I go to school full time. I Fine. I, I, Unless she's paying your tuition, get out of my way. Come on, this is ridiculous. You know. She wants to have a baby. She wants to have it with you. That's why she doesn't use birth control. Period. And if that condom slips, and we all know condoms are only about 95% effective. Yeah. If that condom slips, leaks, breaks, cracks. Okay. If somehow she's in a weird position and pulls it off you, ever had that happen? No. Really? It can happen. Um, what if she's willing to go on birth control? Can I trust she's the relationship not. then? She's not. And why wouldn't she have done it already? Because, I don't know. I haven't really pressed her on it. What well, if I press her on it? Well, even again, I'm, I'm telling you, even if she uses birth control, there's no guarantee she'll stay on it. 
Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to know. There's no guarantee that she'll stay on it. Yeah. You are too young for a serious relationship. She wants to get married and have a baby. That's the bottom line. It's just really nice having a woman who cooks for you, takes care of you. There's, there's you want, no, there is no free lunch, Damon. There's a price to be paid for everything a woman does. <sighs> it's going to be tough giving that up. Yeah. Sack up, son. Tom like it. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Just for, uh, just because a couple of numbers, it would be the green card. Uh, I have a, I have an opportunity to get married. I currently have a girlfriend right now. She's 23. She has a great job. She goes to school. She's going to cosmetology school. She, um, she already told me any day, any time, she'll, get, she'll marry me. The thing is, I, I'm not really ready to get married. I want to settle down, get myself a, a good job, get myself somewhere where I could be ready to get married <laughs> later in the future, not right now. But if I have the chance to get my papers right now, I don't know if I should. Well, uh, do you ultimately want to marry this girl? She's great. We don't have no problems at all. Uh, since day one, we lived together already. Um, everything's great. And what happens if you don't get your green card? I mean, are you in danger of being tossed if you get caught? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, I've had opportunities of getting great jobs, getting good money. Every time uh, I worked at warehouses, I currently worked for Arrowhead for a year and a half. It got down to, you know what, we need to, we want to hire you in our company. The only reason that they didn't hire me it was because of my papers. Right. Right. I understand. And that's why you haven't gone to school, too. Exactly. I, that's uh-huh. the only thing that's stopping me. Well, uh, hey, look, you're not proposing to break the law. You live with this girl. You have a relationship with her. Yes. And, uh, you know, obviously, though, you don't want to be having any babies. And, um, you know, I really, I don't see a problem with getting married to her as long as you, you know, keep your eyes open. Don't have children. Don't be buying houses or any big, making any big purchases. So now, do you think I should go the other way? To I have a couple of friends. They've offered me. They're like, you know what? Go ahead. Um, I'll charge you a certain amount of money. And I'll, I'll get married with you just for you could get your. Yeah, but that's that's not a good idea, and the reason that's not a good idea is because it's illegal. And if you get caught, you may lose your chance forever, or for like up to ten years to become uh, legal. Okay. You don't want that. Um. So far, right now, um, my girl, she's been taking care of me. Is there any chance I could go and apply to places, and they won't? They don't really look into the social. Mostly, they do. What about warehouse? I've been working in a lot of warehouse. I have a lot of work warehouse experience. No. I also went to barber school. I did half of the barber school. I paid everything, and exactly the same thing. It got down. To There's the a reason guys gather at the Home Depot and wait to hop in somebody's truck. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, I'm gonna take your advice, Tom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry this girl, and um, any chance that it's down to the future, I want to get divorced. There shouldn't be any problems of me not getting my papers, right? Well, you have to wait until you've got your papers. Once you've got your papers. But by the way, that's a few years. That's two years? I, no, it's a minimum of two years. I, I said it's a few years. Really? And they're going to want pictures of the two of you on vacation together. They're going to want to see your joint checking account. They're going to want to see, uh, you know, the, 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 you get utility bills together that you receive mail at the same address. And since that's all true, uh, it should be pretty easy to prove. Is there any is there any chance I could get deported while I'm getting my papers? Because I've heard of some people that they get tossed away for six a year, and then they have to come back. Primarily only if you get arrested or something like that. Are you that type? Well, I've only got um, traffic tickets. That's about it. I've yeah. got most of them paid. Oh. That's but you're not likely to get arrested. It's not going to be any domestic violence calls or calls to 911 or anything like that. Oh, not at all. No. Then you should be fine. 
Uh, okay, Tom. And uh, what's the call? I had another question. <laughs> what do you think is the best career that I could go with? What are you interested in? Uh, I'm a, I'm that kind of person that has to be. I can't be on a desk just doing nothing. I have to be moving around. I was looking to into culinary arts, but I'm not sure if I should go for that. Doesn't pay well at all. They don't. Nope. So that's not a good choice. See, well, I like so, hey, look, something. if you like cooking, uh, buy yourself some nice uh, kitchen equipment. And cook. Uh, by the way, I love cooking. I think it's fantastic, and I, I love uh, trying different recipes. I just cooked for seventeen people on Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. I well, mean, it's it's great. But most people who are uh, chefs for, uh, for hire make eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. The big stars make more than that, but you know, uh, there's many big star chefs as there are players in the NBA. Okay. So, what's the best thing I should go for? What are you interested in? If it's not if it's not that, I was looking into being a fighter fighter. Is there any chance I could be, I could get into a, being a fighter fighter? If not I get my not papers? if you're not if you get your papers, you could sure. Is that a good career I could go with? Well, you know, put it this way: you, there's a ceiling to how much money you'll make. It'll seem like a lot when you're 22 or 25 or whatever, but when you're 35, 40, it's going to seem like not enough, <laughs> and you won't have any ability to to advance. So you have to think about that. I got you, Tom. I got you. All right, Tom. Thank you for your advice, and uh, I'll be I'll be a big I'll still be a big listener. All right, glad to hear that, Tim. I'm beginning to think he's literally a big listener. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Shirley on the Tom like a show. Hello. I don't know how long I was waiting on to talk to you. Look, I'm pissed right now. I'm real pissed. I'm not gonna cuss or nothing because I got respect for your show, but I'm pissed. Okay, well, please don't cuss, because then we have to hang up on you. I know that. Let me let me tell you what happened. All right, I was talking to my boyfriend earlier today, right? Right. I'm at, I'm at the hospital with my mom, and she stays in L.A. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm visiting my mom. I'm in the hospital 27 seconds. It took 27 seconds to get it in. Go ahead. Okay, and then he tells me he's not going to come. He's sick, correct? Okay. I don't so know. I wasn't there. Huh? Go ahead. Okay, I'm telling you though. All right, so I'm I'm going out with my girls tonight. I know I'm trying to get away from all the stress, have some fun. I pull up to the club. I see this boy here hugged up with some other girl. All right. All right. I tell him to get in the car. Right. He's sitting right here right now. I'm ready to knock him out. I tell him to get in the car. To he knock him out. Do you knock him out often? I do. I do. You do. Well, why why are you involved in a relationship where you're knocking somebody out? Let me. Oh, he's just pissing me off. He don't love the girl, but he's touching. No, I'm he's asking touching. you a question you about you. Me? I'm asking you a question about you. Why are you in a relationship where you need to knock someone out? Because he just because why? No, this has nothing to do with him. This has to do with you. I don't want to he hear you. I don't want to hear about him. I want to hear about you. Why are you in a relationship with someone you feel Makes the need me to feel knock better. out? It makes you feel better to be in a relationship where you're knocking someone it out? It makes me feel great. Why, why does knocking someone out make you feel great? I don't, I don't, like, knock him out. You know, I punch on him a, f a few times. Why does that make you feel great? Brooklyn time, you have to punch on, punch on these two guys. Two mentions in less than two minutes. Huh? I just got to let him know he ain't about to punch on me, you know? Uh, darling, um... How about we step up a notch here uh, in terms of class and in terms of, uh, uh, I mean, come on. In, in in the civilized world, we don't punch on anybody. Tom, Tom, Tom. Yes? I'm very classy. I took etiquette class. I know how to, really? I know how to be a lady when I need Did to be they teach one. you how to punch on someone in etiquette class? Yeah, I'm talking Tom. Tell him to shut up, Tom. Tell him to shut up. Who's that in the back seat there? The boy. Your kid? No. I don't have kids with him. He's, no, the who, one I called at the club. Who do you have kids with? I don't have kids. I hear children in the car. Hey, my kid. Yeah, get off the phone. Who's, shut up. Whose kid is I'm that? Tell him to shut up. Tell him to shut up. I'm, I'm, I'm a couple of seconds for throwing him out of my car. He going to sit up here and dog me. Tell me he's sick and... Not come visit my mother, disrespect me, and be at the club hugging with some girl. Well, again, darling, uh, I don't know why you love drama as much as you do. I, and you clearly do. Right. You love the drama, right? 
No, I don't. I don't yes, like drama. Yes, you do. Well, if you didn't okay. like drama, you'd move on. You wouldn't be with a guy like that. You don't understand. I got his name tattooed on me already. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, you are one classy broad. I'm a broad. Tom, don't talk to me like that. I just did. Oh my gosh! What do you think this is, Brooklyn? What are you gonna punch me now? Hell yeah, I'll punch what you. What do you think this is, Brooklyn? Oh, oh hell no! Nah. Tom, please don't disrespect my home place. Darling, what part of Brooklyn? Let me guess, Canarsie. You know what? You know what? You know what? You probably rode the double L train. Yeah. 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 Right. I saw your mother on it. <laughs> Really? Was she, was, was she in an urn? I Was she in an urn? She didn't have nothing on. She up in there in rags. That wasn't my mother. Huh? My mother died 10 years ago, so it was my mother was I not on I saw your daddy on it. He died 13 years ago. He's not on the double L train. I don't believe you, Tom. I don't believe you. Okay, very good. Well, darling, this has been a little slice of heaven. And thank you for calling in because you have reminded me why I don't want to be in a relationship. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. I am your professor... Uh, 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's our telephone number. Amber on Like Us 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Amber. Uh, hi. I heard uh, one of your gentleman callers about 10 15 minutes ago asking you about his uh, dating situation with his girlfriend and saying that he did not think that she wanted to get pregnant. Uh, however, she wasn't on birth control. And I just wanted to say, in total agreement with you, and as a warning to all of your gentlemen listeners out there, if your girl is not on birth control and she's not being honest with you about what type she's taking and how she's taking it, and if she's not demanding a condom, she wants to get pregnant. Well, on top of that, uh, when women say they don't use birth control because they're allergic to it, yeah. You yes. cannot be allergic to all 12 forms of birth control. I absolutely agree. It's BS. And, oh, I'm going to gain weight. It's five pounds. I'm willing to gain five pounds to not have a child. It's ridiculous, the excuses. And I will say from personal experience, all of my good friends, the ones that have had children, they all, oh, you know, it was an accident. BS. It was not an accident. They somewhere along the line skipped a pill, or made sure that they, something wasn't quite right, and they got pregnant. And, you know, guys, you say, oh, my girl's on pills. It's fine. I will tell you this. Every girl messes up on birth control pills. It is absolutely impossible with the type of lives that girls have to take a pill at the exact hour every single time of the day. And that's the only way that they are 99% effective is if you take it the same hour every day. So if your girl has never said to you, hey, I, was, I missed my pill or I forgot to take it last night, she's not being honest with you. I'm married. I let my husband know if I have missed a pill, I tell him and we use a condom because we do not want to have children. So if you've never had your girlfriend or your wife tell you, hey, I messed up on my pills, she's not being honest with you about her birth control. I totally agree. That's the way that it is. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. Could you blow me up, Bill O'Reilly style? Bill O'Reilly style. Bill, by the way, a failure in radio. It's official. He's out of the radio business. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Uh, f***ing thing sucks. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll miss Bill here in the radio business. Yes, Bill had a big mouth when he came to the radio business. He was going to dominate the radio business. <laughs> Bye-bye, Bill. I can't do it. <laughs> it's pretty obvious now. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's like it's 101 with your professor. It's Matt. Hello. Hi, this is Matt calling in. I just said that. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I have a predicament for you. Uh, let's see here. I received a call from my ex-girlfriend this morning. Let's review. You're 23 years old. Right. Thank and you, thank already you. you have an ex-girlfriend. A couple. A couple of exes. But, why, uh, yeah. why do you have any ex-girlfriends? Wow. I have no idea. No, 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 no. You're the guy who made the decision to have a girlfriend. So you do have an idea, and I want the answer. Uh, well... It was kind of a bad situation. Uh, we kind of uh, were out and about, and uh, she kind of pissed me off, so I just left. No, no. Why do you have girlfriends? Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, anyway, I don't right now. So. Why have you had girlfriends? Don't be a brick. Don't make me ask the same question. You know what I'm saying. Answer my question. I don't know. I, I got caught up dating this girl for a while. No, no. You, the reason you have a living with her, you know why you have girlfriends? Because you got no goddamn game. That's why you have girlfriends. <laughs> really? Really? So are you going to help me with my situation? We'll get to it in a second. Part of your situation is the fact that you keep engaging yourself with girlfriends. That's okay, part of the reason you saying. keep having saying. problems. That makes sense. You're right. It How about true. you stop having girlfriends? <laughs> Then you won't have problems with girlfriends or ex-girlfriends. Uh, I think this uh, might have solved my whole issue, actually. Jesus Christ. All right. So what happened? Well, anyway, okay. So uh, Living she, I, I get a call this morning, and uh, she's moving down to Salt Lake with her brother. Well, uh, she calls me up freaking out. I guess uh, the house got raided uh, two hours before she got there, trying to move in. She was, uh, she kind of knew he was getting into some stuff. Raided by who? It was raided by who? The cops. The cops raided her brother's place. Right, right. So she's got nowhere to go, calls me up, freaking out, and I, I tell her, you know, I want to help her out. I said she can maybe come down here and stay with me. Why did you say this that? <laughs> Because I feel bad for her situation. What a pussy! Well, and, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> no! You are a pussy! Well, yeah, I know what you're saying, but... That's why I want her to come down. So I can hit that, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> If you had game, you would not need to entice women to come from Utah to Costa Mesa to get laid. This is true. Well, okay. Haven't you ever been problem. to the Irvine Spectrum? Come on, sloppy hoes. Friday night, let's go. Right, right. Well, anyway, so uh, so I'm supposed to go hang out with this other chick this weekend. and uh, Which, by I the way, that's it. not what you told Dean. What? That is, you told Dean that the reason you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read it right off the screen here, because Dean typed it as you said it. You told Dean your ex wanted to stay with you, but she right. couldn't because, and I'm reading it right off the screen, it says here that you said, I already have a girlfriend. Right. I just started dating this other chick. A that girlfriend. I'm to hang out with this Every weekend. girl you date is your girlfriend. You're like <laughs> Hugh Hefner, for Christ's sake. Every girl you date is your girlfriend. <laughs> I see, so just drop the girlfriends and I'll have no problems. But why do you engage with them? Why Why don't you have a bullpen of three, four, five women you can call upon at any time to I'm, satisfy I, your sexual urges? Hey, I just moved out here myself. I'm out working here? on my bullpen out here myself. From where? So, what? From where? From Wyoming. I've been in California a month now. So, uh -huh. I, so you know... And, I, you know, I already got set up with a couple chicks, but, you know, why not have my other girl come down and stay for a while and... Oh, God. <laughs> Pussy! Why are you calling me for advice? <laughs> You've already decided what to do. Well, I see, I don't know if I should tell her to come down or not, but... No! No. No girlfriends. Well, of course. Of course what? Of course no girlfriends. And that means no inviting women to stay in your home. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but you're not going to do what I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm over the girlfriends for this point in my life, so... So then there, there should be no question about this. The answer is no. Right, right. Well, cool. 
Thanks for the confirmation. Okay, thank you for calling. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. The Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. Now, heard Saturdays in Los Angeles as well. Six days a week now. Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. this Saturday, I'll be in Las Vegas for the De La Hoya Pacquiao fight. But I will have a show for you this Saturday, 2 until 6 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk. And uh, may I say that uh, if you don't live in Southern California and you cannot hear the radio broadcast, you can just go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 2 and 6 p.m. this Saturday, and uh, you'll be listening live. It's that simple. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is your professor speaking, Professor Tom Likas of Likas 101. Eric, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Okay, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my, bottom of my heart for saving me thousands and thousands of dollars. I do it as a public service, Eric. What happened is this girl I've been playing with for the last four months, uh, she called me a couple weeks ago and said that she was pregnant. And my heart just dropped. I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And then I realized, being a listener, that I, I heard you about six or seven months ago describe in detail what a Hail Mary is. Yes. So I enacted the plan. And... I went over to her house and brought her flowers and told her that I loved her. And, you know, I never told her that before. And I planned on spending the rest of my life with her and took her out to lunch. And then we went to Zales and I had her pick out, you know, a ring that I was never going to buy. And I said, you know, I love you. I want to get married. We should go to Vegas. But the baby isn't in our future right now. Let's get this thing taken care of. So by this time, she was putting my hand. So uh, the next day, we went to Planned Parenthood, had the procedure done. Um, took her back to my place. I was uh, living with a friend of mine. Uh, I had her sleep in my bed. I slept on the couch. The following day, I took her to breakfast and took her home. And I immediately went back home, packed up my bags, moved back in with my parents. I changed my cell phone number, and that's it. Did you get any tears there, uh, Eric? Yeah, I did. Uh, Dean actually said right on. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, it pays actually listening to you. I love that. And by the way, doesn't that prove my point? You know, if it was all about objecting to abortion, it wouldn't matter about taking her to Zales or taking her out uh, for a meal or buying her flowers. None of that stuff would matter. She would be, hey, abortion is wrong. But uh, the minute they start uh, falling for that stuff, you know the whole idea of telling you they're pregnant is to lock you in. Exactly. Because she was hinting from time to time, you know, we should get a place together and you know la 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 we should get a joint checking account and i was like oh god yeah exactly women who don't use birth control want to have a baby yes and you know what i want to tell you this and i want to let everyone listen listen to tom because if they don't mind you not wearing a condom you should just run away right because run they, away they are hoping for that happy accident to happen Exactly. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I was wondering if you could take me out JFK Sr. Yes, Eric, I can. Like us 101 with Danny. Hello. Tom, how you doing, sir? Great. Thank you so much for taking my call. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm a little bit older for your demographic. I'm 38 years old. And as I was talking to your screener, actually, I met this girl. It was a beautiful girl. She was, she was 24 at the time. You, you, met know, her, you met her as you were talking to my screener? I'm sorry? That's amazing. How did you talk to my screener and meet a girl at the same time? No, I didn't. No, no. I, I met this girl um, almost two years ago. You said sir. you met her as you were talking to my screener. No, 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 no. And I said, Dean, like, step like, in here a second. I want to find out exactly what happened. Hold on a second. Let's get Dean in here. I already started standing Now, Dean, up. I don't understand, and I, I know that uh, the two of you obviously were chit-chatting. Uh, he said he met this girl as he was talking to my screener. What's he trying to say here? <laughs> I think he combined sentences because uh, obviously I wasn't with him when 
he uh, met this girl. So, well, I thought maybe you were chit chatting on the phone, having this really great conversation, and then this chick walked up to him, and he like, well, you know, he he nailed her. I'm good, but not that good. Yeah, he uh, he. I don't know where he came up with that. So, no, I I wasn't having a conversation with him, and Danny met a girl. It didn't happen like that. What he, what did he said that you two did talk about this? So what did happen? Okay, uh, Danny is uh, 38 in the demo. By the way, 38s in in our demo. It's great. Uh, he is worried that he's falling in love uh, with a 26 year old. He started out wearing the pants and had everything under control, and now he feels that he's let go a little bit and has succumbed to love per se. So oh. he uh, he has lost the upper hand. Uh, and he's falling in love with a girl who's younger than he. Not a good idea. But if you were still on the phone, I'd, I'd be telling him that. So your advice with him for him would be what, exactly? To uh, get out of there. Okay. That's what it would be. Okay. Well, if he talked to you, he would have gotten those instructions. He would have. But in this case, he threw me under the bus. Thank yes. you, sir. Yes, he did. Folks, when you talk to the screener, do not call in and tell me you spoke to the screener. Okay. I, everybody speaks to the screener. If if you're going to tell me what you and the screener talked about, I'll just, just get the screener in here to tell me. I don't need you. My goodness. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Alex. Yeah, I'd like to just let you know that you... Go! Of course, you tried saying that, but we dumped it. <laughs> Let's say, hi. by the way, I probably insulted his sister. His big, fat sister. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. It's George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, what's going on, Tom? I'm doing a radio show, George. Uh, okay. So check it out. Um... I was with this girl for four years. I lived with her. Um, she just got impl breast implants like two, like three weeks ago. And uh, uh, who paid first... for those, by the way? I'm sorry. Who paid for those? Oh no, her mom. I I didn't pay a dime. Oh. Um. So anyways. But uh, when they get implants while they're with you, you know what that means, don't you? Well, the old na now I do. So so t like a week later, she uh, tells me that she's confused and that she needs space. Uh, what, what do I do now? I mean, I really like this chick. I really oh. do. What do you mean she needs space? You, you know what she needs? She needs space to get someone else into the sack with her. Is that what it is? Of course! Um, By the well, way, you're 21. You're too young to have a girlfriend anyway. I know, I know, I know. I mean, so what, what do I do? Well, now what? I told you what to do. Don't humiliate yourself. Move on. So uh, that's, that's, well, that's why she's confused, right? She Because she wants to nail other dudes. Any time a woman says she needs space, what do you think she needs space for? I don't know. I How don't do you know. think MySpace? You know how MySpace got its name? No, she, actually, she's crazy about MySpace, crazy about Facebook. <laughs> of course she is. MySpace is the space between my left thigh and my right thigh. <laughs> and don't get me started on sit on my Facebook. <laughs> She's okay. on there hooking up. Oh, God. Probably got pictures of her new implants there, too. Oh, yeah. Right? Absolutely. You're right. You're absolutely right. And she's got 812 friends, and 809 of them are guys. She has like 6,000 friends. And, so. and, and 5,993 of them are men. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, I mean... Well, well dude, how, how... Come on! <laughs> how many hints do you need? Oh, God. I, I'm such a fool for for even putting up with this crap, you know? Uh, yeah, that's right. But learn from your mistakes. Don't compound them. Stop right being in love with somebody who's just a whore who's out to have sex with everybody on MySpace. You're right. You're right. So, I'm probably going to try to bang her best friend. 
That you know what? Uh, you should go through whatever the, the five female friends on her site and nail all of them. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay. Um <laughs> thanks thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Lupita on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I'm <gasps> driving right now. I'm in Ontario. Oh, well, it's not nothing nothing to brag about here. Go ahead. What I I'm uh listening to your show, finding it amusing, but I just wanted to comment regarding uh, women who want to get pregnant. I mean, you know, men should be responsible. If you don't want to have babies, use a condom. But that's not the point I'm making. Condoms are the least effective form of birth control. I've impregnated a woman while using a condom. Uh, they, it's irrelevant. We are talking about women who don't use birth control. It's because they want to have babies, and that's a fact. Well, that is. That's true. That's a fact. So when a woman says, I'm allergic, or I gain weight, or I'm allergic to latex, this is all baloney. Oh, you're right. That's baloney. Right. I thought your comment was men didn't have to wear I tell men to use condoms 100% of the time, but they're no better than a backup. They are a backup solution, Lupita. Hey, thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show.